We asked our community what their favorite cozy games for the Switch was, and what we got are 25 great recommendations. No Man's Sky The boundless universe of No Man's Sky is a perfect setup for laid-back exploration. There are so many things to see and do. You can ride your starship and explore the stars, or find an Earth-like planet as your sanctuary. You can even invite your friends to join you. Our final moments should be something special. That's what Spiritfarer teaches us. We get to play a version of the Grim Reaper that helps lost souls achieve closure as they're ferried off to the other side. Even with a heavy topic, there's a real tenderness to how they handle it. Talking to the souls and learning about their lives might just leave you a little teary-eyed. How would you fix a transportation problem? Finding solutions for mini motorways traffic problems feels like ASMR. Watch how cars zoom in and out of their stations and find optimal routes for them. The colors and minimalist presentation make the challenge more rewarding. Animal Crossing New Horizons An unconventional island getaway. Sure, you'll have to manage the town's landscape and pay your residential debts. But you also get to fill it with your favorite animal neighbors and do all sorts of island activities, like diving, going bug hunting, or collecting shells. And even when you go away for months, it never fails to give us a warm welcome. Minecraft's Cubic Paradise is home to many experiences that are fun to play with alone or with friends. You'd be zoning out for an hour or two, creating that dream house or exploring its endless world. It's a limitless playground where you can build anything you want. Slime Rancher Portable Edition Slime Rancher is made even better with the Switch's portability. Now you can tend to your cute blobs on the go. It's really more like a space colony than a farm. You catch slimes on your home away from Earth and take care of their many peculiar needs. They're no Kirby's, but they're not bad. New Pokemon Snap is a completely different Pokemon experience. There's no grinding to be world champion. All you have to do is to take the cutest shots of all the Pokemon you can find. It's like a nature documentary, but with Pikachus and Bidoofs. Gris Gris has all the makings of a soothing adventure. The watercolor art style, the relaxing soundtrack, but that's not all it has going for it. Taken from the French for gray, Gris starts out in a world of black and white, and it's your quest to bring the color back into the world. For all its comforts, its undercurrents of melancholy become a welcome surprise. Coffee Talk there's nothing more cozy than talks over coffee. This is what this game is all about. You become a barista for a coffee shop and you listen to your patrons pour their hearts out. After you brew their cups of coffee, it's easy to just sit back and see how each of their lives unfold. Unpacking. The simplicity is what makes this next game great. You have one job to unpack. But it's not just clothes. As you rummage through boxes and find places for every knickknack, you'll notice the changes in the character's life. What they keep and what they hide tells its own unique story. Melatonin. If you had a list of what makes a game cozy, melatonin would check all the boxes. It's a rhythm game taking place in dreams. It's not as stressful as all the other rhythm games, though. Instead, the chill visuals and the rhythmic repetitions could actually lull you to sleep. It's especially likely if you're playing on the Switch. Abzu's Underwater World is a paradise worth diving into. There are no horrors here, only the endless beauty of an alien abyss. Everything under this big blue ocean is a friendly place to swim around. You can befriend fishes and appreciate marine life like never before. Stardew Valley's quaint, rural setting is a perfect escape from the hustle and bustle of real life. Make friends, grow crops, or find the love of your life in this relaxing farm sim. 
If you're ready to commit your time in this place, it'll essentially turn into your second home. In New Blitz, there's no need for violence. You can make new friends by just beating them in dance battles. A weird but honestly refreshing experience if you're a fan of monster collecting. On top of that, it's also a life sim where you can garden and make homes for your cuddly creatures. If you enjoy the coziness of Stardew Valley or Harvest Moon, my time at Porsche lets you have your life sims in 3D. Plus, there's so much to lay your eyes on and play with. Build your own farmstead, race horses, and cook your favorite meals. You have all the time in the world in Porsche. A little to the left. A little to the left takes OCness to a different level. It's an organizing game where you simply stack, organize, and adjust items in a single frame. It's like unpacking, but you have to place them in areas that don't ruin your own version of perfection. Untitled Goose Game. There's not a lot of expect in a video game where you play as a goose. Mostly, you mess around with unsuspecting neighbors and ruin their days with your endless honks. Your to-do list of mischievous deeds are little puzzles that will get you from chapter to chapter. Who knew being bad could be so fun? Pokemon Legends Arceus Open worlds can be too intimidating to be relaxing. Not so much in Arceus, where you can spend as much of your time strolling around the garden. It's especially great for Pokemon fans. Not only can you take in the scenery filled with Pokemon, but there's also the satisfaction of filling up your Pokedex. A short hike. A short hike's serene atmosphere is a great escape from the stress of daily life. Within the small island, there are many NPCs with their own story to tell. Listen to their ramblings about life as you explore this unbothered wilderness. It's not a long game, so you can finish this in one sitting if you wanted to. Florence. Florence is a love story, and what better way to get cozy than a game about tugging our heartstrings? There's no need to press many buttons. All you have to do is to follow the story and interact with the objects shown on screen. Don't worry, the puzzle sections are simple enough to get you lost in its emotional tale. Gora Goa. It's a simple point-and-click puzzler set in a bizarre world. There's a lot of emotional layers hidden within each of the stories, and you'd be scratching your head at its mind-boggling puzzles. The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Let's face it, Zelda is comfy. Breath of the Wild gave us a taste of open-world Zelda, and now with Tears of the Kingdom, we have the power to build. Crafting machineries and gizmos eases the exploration, and soaring from the sky and exploring Hyrule has never been this fun. Don't Starve. What's weird about Don't Starve is that it's never meant to be a cozy game. But once you understand how the game works, it'll all make sense. Like building safe havens, machines, and resources. It's like you're making your own little sanctuary in this hellish nightmare. Persona 5 Royale. The Persona series is a fantastic example of a cozy JRPG. There's a nice balance between dating sim, visual novel, and turn-based combat. All of them don't require much effort and you just sit down on your couch and see where its lengthy story goes. Not only that, its acid jazz soundtrack is soothing to the ears. Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Firewatch. We end this well, list with Firewatch. Firewatch. It isn't the kind of game where we fight big bosses, do objectives, or whatever. It's just about a man and a woman using walkie-talkies and looking for company in a lonely forest. It's definitely cozy, you know, it but you need better, to be in the right headspace to appreciate its writing and performances. We didn't break up. We didn't choose to break up. Well, I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise.